Hey there guys, Zetomaster here. We're back with Diablo 3. But uh, we're not where we left off with Excite. No. This is a completely different character. It kind of looks a little demonically scary because God knows my level is only 39. So I got to play, well I made a Crusader and started playing. And the Crusader is kind of fun. Not going to deny it. So my plan is this, I, I decided, look, the expansion now is out, it's great, it's fun, um, I want to do the story. But the rate, the rate that I'm going, by the time I get to, uh, get to Act 5, uh, at this rate, the next expansion is going to be out. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and do Act 5 with my level 39 hero, known as Vala. Strangely enough, I, I kind of named her after my paladin from World of Warcraft because... Alright, come on. The Crusader and the Paladin are kind of similar. Kind of. And, uh, I'm not saying that they exactly are alike, but they are kind of similar. And everything that they do. Shields and swords and things like that. Anyways, the whole point was I named her Vala and then they announced that the name of the Demon Hunter is Vala. And I'm like, oh, isn't that just fine and dandy? So, we're just going to do this. We're going to start right with level Act 5. I'm still going to play through all of the regular stuff, but expect those episodes to be about... See, currently I'm doing about 15-20 minutes. My plan is to do about half an hour of those. So, we're going to... When we come back from finishing Act 5, we will go back to Excite, and we will continue the story from there up to Act 5. And then we will, uh, but it's only going to be like twice a week, or maybe even once a week, and we'll go from there. So, there we have it. That's the plan. Uh, it's, we're, throw, we're throwing everything else out the window. Anyways, without further delay, I, without much more of a delay, it's already been like two minutes. Let me, ex you know, explain everything that I got to do. Let's play. I, it is entering and creating the game. Hold the left mouse button on the open ground to move without engaging enemies. Unless they're enemies, then you engage them. Whoa! Things are happening. We're in Westmarch. The Nephilim. Well, that guy was happy to see me, wasn't he? Tyriel sent me to find you. Malthuel has taken the Black Soul Stone. You must come oh, no. with me. People are dying in that city, lad. You are not abandoned. But you and Tyrion need to form a plan. We must find him out here. Tell Tyrion I will meet him in Westmarch. Go. It will be done. I swear. Go. No. So to kind of catch you up, we're going to see this when I play Excite again. But uh, the whole plot of Diablo 3. You're going to die. Well, uh, he's just a happy person, isn't he? Uh, well, well you know, what? we'll get to him where. Oh. Well, oh. kind of did. I don't know who she is. And the gates to hell have closed. Stop killing! I must go more. My God, this is Okay, before we move forward, exit options and sound. <laughs> Uh, the sound is good and all, but uh, let's let's turn that down, and we'll turn the voice volume up. Apply, accept, exit. Oh my God, it's still loud. Jeez. All right, we'll we'll not down to fifty. We'll make it up to like seventy. No, no, okay. And effects volume down to seventy-ish. There. Look, the it it just works. All right, we'll return again. So, I will explain Diablo's... Diablo 3's plot here in a moment. Boom! Jazoom! Uh, I saw this... I want to see what's down here. Ah! 
That was my dad's bird. That's what they sound like. Um, just seeing if there's any cool stuff around here. Nope, 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 nope. There's a dude. He died. Oh, he was dead. Then we killed him again. Um, just to kind of run through the Diablo 3 storyline a little bit. Of course, where we left off, we were in Tristram. Tristram. Whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm playing with the sound a little bit more. Let's, I'm going to lower the master volume down to about 50. There we go. That, that. Apply, accept, and we're done. Um, it just sounds so loud when I'm playing here. Anyways, you you enter Tristram because you saw following the star. For whatever reason, you know, you go and follow it, whatever your character is. Whatever their reason is. Um, what ends up happening is, you know, uh, it's... It's this man, you know, you come upon what the star is, it's this man. He doesn't remember anything. All he knows is that he fell down. My my leg. Stop. What? Don't go out into the streets. Why not? I would like to know why. So many have been killed, and the reapers are everywhere. The is reapers, you say? In there? General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarum Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. Wait, you're the Crusader who saved Bastion's keep. Yes, I am. Uh, too, won't you? Yes, I will. I will try. I swear it. <clears throat> oh, mighty tall. Yeah. Hey, merchant guy. What is it? Jeez, if you want to be a dick. <clears throat> uh, anyways, trying to get back to the lore. Uh, you come upon Diablo. Oh well, you come upon you know this guy, and it ends up being Tyrael. Material is a fallen angel, apparently. He didn't. He chose the bell and became mortal. Um, he still has like some of his, his angelic powers and things Demon like that. Blood. Those were innocent people. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Decker Kane, of course, we saw when he dies. Uh, Leah ends up becoming. You know, we find out that. We're under the impression that Asia, with his mother, is still alive, and therefore, you know, you set out to find her, free her, whatever, save her. You head to Chaldeum, where you encounter Belial, and you defeat Magda, you defeat Belial, you then head to Bastion's Keep, which is what they were just talking about, where um, Asmodon is attacking. Oh, jeez, I have this weird tickle in my throat. Um, you face Asmodan, Asmodan, uh, you kill him, and his cronies, uh, Leah then puts them all into the, uh, the black stole, stole stone, soul stone, and trapping all the prime evils there, including Diablo. Adria then tricks Leah into releasing, you know, using Leah's apparently natural gifts. And she was actually a vessel for the Diablo. So go figure, you know. Semi cute, kind of annoying girl. Ends up being, you know, the story of. Story of the world. It, it you head to uh, <clears throat> you head to the heavens to free the heavens. I I thought I defended the church. Up oh, there we go. <clears throat> In an attempt to free the heavens, but the uh, one angel Imperius, I believe it is, he's not happy that you're there. Ah, we found you. He wants you to die. He wants to kill you. Tyrion, you free the heavens, and now we're here. Attacking Westmarch. Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malthale believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. But we are descended from demons and angels. <laughs> when Malthale looks at us, he sees demons. She's making sense. The church 
All the refugees are inside. Follow me. Well then, let's do it. Akrat's bane. This is worse than I feared. What is that? It's... Yes, a your soul is mine. It's like I haven't even been using that. Greetings. I grew disgusted by humanity during my time on Sanctuary. When at last I found Malfiel, I was not surprised to learn that he felt the same way. We will cleanse creation of the scourge that is humankind. And when we are finished, the tragic mistake of Anarius will be gone. As a young Templar, this place became a symbol to me of the corruption... Let's end this madness. Where is Malthiel? I know only that he is not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. Dun dun dun! Is there any way to find out? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthael took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. Then you study the sliver, while I save this city from the Reapers. Don't do. Oh, wait. I can take that. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so... For those who haven't seen it, Malthael is basically the angel of death. Uh, he has taken the st uh, the uh, Black Demon Soul Stone, and he is attempting to, well, whatever, we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know, he's attempting to do something with it. What was that death maiden doing in the cathedral? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthael's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour. And my men report two more of them out in the city. Soul crucibles. With two of them, Malfail has an endless supply of soldiers. Then I will destroy these crucibles and cut off Malfail's supply of troops. It's but a door. Time is but a window. I'll be back. Malfail's soul reapers. crucibles turn the dead into reapers? Sadly. Yes. The Death Maidens look like angels. Their story is as tragic as Malfield's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. So we're doing Lori bits, so... <clears throat> Malfail, my brother. He was wisdom. Leader of our council. First among angels. And now, he has become this. How did it happen? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared so completely. So, puberty. He must have developed a connection. No, an obsession with human souls. Well, however he came to his madness, he's got to be put down. Death is meant to free our souls, not devour them. This sliver of the Black Soul Stone will reveal Malthael's plan to you? The sliver is still connected to the Soul Stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malthael is doing to the stone. And if we're lucky, even discover his plan. Thing is, that's one big sliver. Just saying. I've heard of the Horodrim, but I thought they were long gone. Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven, and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. I don't know, I... Nightcrawler can kind of almost do it. At long last, a hero comes to save us! That won't bring my wife back, though, will it? Well, dick. I kind of just showed My up. My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. But I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? 
I suppose so. If you have to. Crazy people. Who is this? I'm Bryson. I was trapped in the cellar until Hadrig rescued me. Aww. Ha. And now he won't go away. You saved his life. You're stuck with him now. He is. <laughs> I'm going to repay Hadrig by helping him with his work. And I told you to stay away from my forge. <laughs> is there anything on your mind, Hadrig? Yes, actually. I was just remembering what happened in New Tristram after the falling star hit. I'd never seen Mira so scared. Leah came by later, telling us there were wounded men at the inn. And your wife still went to help them. I, that's a good thing. I grew up over by the docks. Not the good part of town, but it's what my parents could afford. They died when the plague swept through a few years ago. Within hours of each other, like they had to stay together. I used to hate them for leaving me, but now it's a relief they didn't have to see all this happen. That's usually a good thing. Lord I Vermilion. Know who's responsible for this? It's the poor. They've summoned these monstrosities to take Westmarch for themselves. Oh, that doesn't sound anything like what happens in real really life. I was gonna say real life, but apparently really life is... I can't believe we're still alive, and it's all thanks to you. I thought we would die in that foul-smelling place. You're welcome, I guess. I don't, I don't know, I don't... <clears throat> I, I guess I did something good for her. Oh, yeah. Marital did you grab disharmony. the jewelry, at least? Harold, those monsters were about to kill us. Well, I would rather be dead than poor. Well, if you would rather be dead than poor, I can take care of that for you, buddy. Well, the world's under attack and people are dying everywhere. It must be time for us to go on another adventure, right? <laughs> God, his voice sounds so familiar. I don't know. It is good to see you again. Though it seems like we are only brought together in the worst of circumstances. But I suppose if times were better, we would never have met. Wise things coming from the Enchantress. <clears throat> oh, up, up, talk, talk. For a moment, I heard one of my sister's voices. They could not make out the words. Each day, I feel the weight of every crusader who has borne my name. So I think I understand your burden. My sisters are gone now, and I am the last memory of a world long since forgotten. You do not know why your sisters died. That is why they stay with you. Aww. Uh, let's hire her the so we can talk to... Cormac, you seem troubled. We must speak. I have discovered that my order tortures its initiates and twists their minds. I the need bastard. to know how high this evil reaches. If my whole order is corrupt, what does it mean to be a Templar? What am I? A good man. An honorable man who dedicated himself to a cause he believed righteous. But it wasn't, was it? The guilty will answer for their transgressions. I swear it. All right, well. I like the Templar. Templar's fun. Come on. <clears throat> why would the angels do this to us? Because the angels are a bunch of dicks, that's why. All right, 